AI might feel like this secret magical thing that lives entirely in the cloud, but the data centers behind it are very real, very big, and for the communities that they're built in, very concerning. In fact, across the US, dozens of petitions have been started calling to stop their development. Let's talk about why. From 2021 to 2024, the US nearly doubled its data centers, which are these massive facilities packed with servers that power everything from your ChatGPT requests to your binge watching marathons. And they require massive amounts of electricity, water, and space. Plus with generative AI taking off, companies like Google, Meta, OpenAI, Microsoft, they're all racing to build more. These centers can use as much electricity as a small city, and that power has to come from somewhere. When energy providers plan for that kind of growth, they often and offer data centers discounted electricity rates to attract them. And then to make up the difference, the cost of a new power line and grid upgrades is passed on to regular customers, meaning some communities see their energy bills rise long before data centers even open. Also, most facilities rely on massive diesel generators for backup power. In some areas, that means higher local air pollution and noise in neighborhoods already dealing with environmental stress. Last year, Elon Musk's XAI placed its Colossus supercomputer in South Memphis, where residents already experienced higher cancer and asthma rates and a life expectancy 10 years below the city's average. Then there's water. Many of these facilities use millions of gallons a day. According to a leaked internal document, Amazon's data centers used 105 billion gallons of water in 2021. That's roughly equal to what nearly a million American homes use in an entire year. Right now, residents in Memphis are rallying around a petition to move Musk's supercomputer out of the city, arguing that once it's up and running, it won't benefit residents, it will bring pollution, and its placement reflects the systemic injustice the community has historically faced. To read or sign the petition, head to our link in bio.